Good afternoon, guys. Um, so I hope everyone is doing okay. Today I won't be teaching. Okay, I will. I just I will just be observing the class. Your teacher is gonna be Carlos Velasquez. Okay, so he's gonna be your teacher. He's going to he's going to explain the topic for today. So please pay attention and participate the same way you do with me. Okay. Now there you go, uh, Santos. They are all yours. Okay. Good afternoon, guys. How are you? How are you doing? You can answer that question uh, using your microphone or in the chat. Tell me, how are you? I'm doing great. What about you? And thank you for asking. Thank you. I'm, I'm good too. Thank you for asking. Uh, I'm what? Great, thank you. Okay, Vargas, I'm glad to with that. So I'm pretty good. Nice. Carolina, I'm very well, good. Cachel, fine, thanks. Merlin, I'm so good. It is nice to read that. I believe I'm good. Okay. William, nice. Thank you, guys. Enrique, I'm pretty good. Good, Enrique. Okay. We are a star with the class. Elena, I'm pretty good. Can complain, Bravo. Excellent. Um, okay. The topic for today is description and narration paragraph. And I don't know if the, the slide passed. Someone can tell me if the, the slide passed or not. It is the same slide. You need two description and narration. Um, I, I have issues. I have issues with the yeah. presentation. The first one. I don't know what happened. To be honest, I can pass the slide to the other one. Uh, thank you. Did you see the other slide? Did you see? Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you, William. Okay, I as I said before, the topic for today is description and narration paragraph. Okay, the contents for today are a question and the develop of the topic that is description and narration paragraph. Okay, what is description and narration paragraph to you? You can um, search uh, an answer in Google or you can write in the chat too. What do you think about this question? It is important to say that we can find information about this topic, like descriptive paragraph and narrative paragraph too. Someone can tell me what think about the, the question. A descriptive or descriptive mm -hmm. paragraph consists of, of describing the most important details of a topic using adjectives, narrative paragraph consists or telling a uh, story in detail. Great support, Gabriela. Nice. That is a good information about descriptive paragraph. Someone else? The descriptive paragraph allows the writer to specifically detail 
the subject of which we write from the adjectives. That is a good information, Milena. Thank you so much. Someone else? The scripture is a text in which we describe a specific case of a topic. And what about narration? What do you think about that? Do you have an idea about that? Someone else? A short description of narration. What do you think about it? About narration paragraph or narrative paragraph? No. The narrative paragraph is to tell about the story, whether real or fictional. The main objective is to convey emotion and capture the reader's attention. Great. That information is so good, to be honest. The narrative paragraph is a paragraph in which anyone can tell a story. Thank you, Enrique, for the information. A narrative paragraph is when you tell a story about you or other person or by yourself. You are right about it. Okay, guys, let's pass to the next slide. Okay, here we have a definition about what is a description or descriptive pattern. As I said you report that we can find information about this, not only just description. And it says, a descriptive paragraph is a focus in detail rich account of a specific topic. A description paragraph is required when you are asked to write about how something looks, sounds, smells, tastes, or feels. We need to take into account this about a description paragraph is required when you are asked to write about how something looks, sounds, or smells, or things because, for example, um, I can um, ask to someone else about how I look today, and you can say the person can say, um, "You look so sad today," and you can uh, add adjectives to describe the person that you are describing in that moment. And also you should provide the specific detail of the most important features and use appropriate adjectives to describe attributes and qualities. As I said to you before, it is important to use appropriate adjectives to describe to someone else for, or for example, to an animal, object, and Topic sentence identifies the phenomenon to be described. Okay, in a descriptive paragraph, for example, in the start of the paragraph, we need to create a short sentence or a short paragraph in which um, we can explain like a summary about what we can transmit with the message, with the paragraph. Next slide is how to write a descriptive paragraph. Someone can help me to read, please. One volunteer. I can do it. Thank you. You can start. Okay, I can do it. I'm going to start to read it. Um, how to write a discrete paragraph, take into account. When starting to write a discrete paragraph, a general sentence should be used. These sentences convey the subject of the paragraph to the readers. If this stage is completed, 
Now it is the second stage. The descriptive description should be made starting from the outside of the subject that will be explained in detail in the second stage. In short, the detail should be listened from the general to specific. And at the last stage, it is necessary to summarize the subject of the paragraph in one sentence and convey ideas. Thank you so much, Davo. Okay, as the information say, uh, as I said to you before, it says that we need to create a general sentence to describe to all the paragraphs. For example, I can say, or I can start a paragraph like this, um, like a trip. I went to the cinema uh, yesterday. It was a beautiful trip to there or to the beach, for, for example. And we can use that sentence to start the descriptive paragraph later, and we can add details like um, the cinema was very full of people or the movie was so great. And in the last stage, we can create a, like a sentence or short paragraph in which we summarize the, all the paragraph. For example, I enjoyed a lot the movie. It was nice. That can be an example of a short paragraph describing, for example, uh, a go out that we can do. And now, harmony of detail, this could be paragraph. Someone can tell me to read again, please. Not Gabo, someone else. Don't be afraid. I can. Thank you, Enrique. You can do it. Different start. Harmony of details. Descriptive paragraph. Good to know. Who doesn't want the... Who doesn't want the paragraph you to write to impress the reader. The most authoritative method can be used that can be used to realize this situation is to use a descriptive paragraph. A descriptive paragraph describes a person, an object, event, or a place in detail. This type of paragraph, which should contain the details, what the address of this feature is the details of the reader. Thank you. I don't know if it was my or what. Can you hear me? Yes. I mean, I just finished reading the, the text. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. It says, we need to take into account this. A descriptive paragraph describes a person, an object, an event, or a place in details. We need to add all the details that we can do. We need to in a descriptive paragraph, um, we need to add clear details or clean, clear sentence in which we describe in the best way and the reader can understand easily. Here we have an example of descriptive paragraph. Someone can tell me to read. 
de paragraf. May I? Yes, you can do it. Thank you. Uh, it is very important to have to close friends because they will always be there and they will not let you go. B, I'm going to talk about my close friends. Uh, my close friend, sorry. His name is Dennis and he is a very important person to me. Uh, he is tall and has brown shoulders. He stands like a hero protecting the person next to him. He has a fit body, just like a statue. The features on his face look to pronounce it, and he has a small nose. His dark green eyes look harsh, like a dark forest. His lashes are like line arrows. He has neatly lined pearly teeth. When he smiles, he looks little uh, like a little boy. Seeing him happy all the time and is the biggest thing I want. Thank you so much, Milka. Okay, it is an example with um for example, with a format that we can create a descriptive paragraph. In this way, we can do it. In this case, it is a descriptive paragraph about a person. We're describing to Dennis. As we can see, uh, the paragraph has different details describing to Dennis. And for example, to create, oh, sorry, I passed the right. Okay, for example, to create this type of paragraph, we can follow this format. For example, with the letter A, we have introduced with a topic sentence, a brief description to explain your text about what you want to describe, for example, person, animal, or object. And in the example we have, it is very important to have close friends because they will always be there and they will not let you go. Okay, it is an introduction about the descriptive paragraph that we are describing in the DOM. And in the letter B, we have write different sentences in which you describe and explain with clear detail taking into account all the details of the person, animal, or object that you are describing. In the example, we have different sentences describing to a person that is Dennis in this case. For example, it says, I'm going to talk about my close friend. His name is Dennis, and he is a very important person to me. We are describing that Dennis is important to the person that describes him. And also we have, he is tall and has broad shoulders. He stands like a hero protecting the person next to him. He has a fit body just like a statue. We are adding details about how Dennis is. And that is so important when we are uh, creating a descriptive paragraph. We need to add all the details that we know about the person, animal, or object to have a complete descriptive paragraph. And the letter C, we have created a concluding sentence in which you resume all the paragraph taking into account all the details of the person, animal, or object. It is like the final of, of the paragraph because it says that we need to create a concluding sentence. In the example we have, seeing him happy all the time is the biggest thing I want. We are concluding the paragraph with this sentence saying that all that we want is see the Dennis happy. In that way, we can create a descriptive paragraph. In this case, is about the person. 
And here we have an example about a place. Someone can help me to read the, just the example. May I? You can do this, thank you. Example of descriptive paragraph about place. A, in my life I did different trips, but I have a favorite place that I visited. I saw the most beautiful bay I have ever seen in my life. B, as I was descending from the mountain towards the sea, I suddenly looked in front of me and saw the yellow sand like gold. B, the sun was right overhead and it was very hot. The sands will almost catch fire. Then the deep blue sea was merging with the sky. B, the sea was so clear that I could see colorful fish swimming between my feet. And C, this was the place that fascinated me the most. Thank you so much, Gutierrez. You did a great. Okay. In this example, we have the same rule to create a descriptive paragraph. For example, in the letter A, that is introduced with a topic sentence with a big, brief description to explain it. We have, in my life, I did different trips, but I have a favorite place that I visit. I saw the most beautiful bay I have ever seen in life. With this, we are introducing the paragraph. We're explaining about what we are talking about, about the paragraph. And B, we have, as I was descending from the mountain towards the sea, I suddenly looked in front of me and saw the yellow sun like gold. Here we are describing about the place that we visited. And the last one that is the concluding sentence, we have this was the place that fascinated me the most. We're saying that we love the place that we visited. And now I'm going to talk about what is narration paradox. And here we have a description about narration or narrative paragraph. Okay, narrative paragraph, an essay, tell a story. This usually from your own personal experience, but it may also be an event that happened to someone else or a historical event. Narrative usually have a beginning, middle, and end but the story doesn't have to be so in chronological order. Okay, as the information say, uh, we can create, for example, our personal experience. Uh, we can do a narrative paragraph talking about um, something that happened to us or we can write about someone else or a historical event, as the information says. And it is important to take into account that the last information about narrative paragraph says, but the story doesn't have to be told in chronological order. Okay, here we have the purpose of a narrative paragraph. Someone can help me to read, please. Someone else. Don't be afraid to do it. Someone. May I again? Yes, you can do it. Thank you. Okay. Purpose of a uh, narrative paragraph. Ultimately, whether the story is fact or fiction, narrative writing tries to relay a series of events in an emotionally 
engaging way. If you want to know how to start an narrative easy, there's one fundamental question you should ask yourself. What is my purpose? You want you want your audience to be moved by your story, which could mean through love, sympathy, fear, anger, and so on. The more clearly, clearly you tell your story, the more emotionally engaged your audience is likely to be. Having in mind the correct style and approach they perfectly communicate your idea. Thank you so much, Gabo. Okay, in this, we have a question about what is my purpose or what I can do in a narrative paragraph. Or for example, what I need to transmit with the message about the narrative paragraph. We need to create a narrative paragraph in which the reader can understand the idea that we have about the paragraph. For example, um, we need to communicate with idea with clear details about the paragraph. And here we have an example, but this is narrative and it's a personal narrative paradigm. Okay, I will read this. Last year was the first time I have ever seen the new kids at a school. For example, the first four days, I was completely alone. I don't think I even spoke to a single person. Finally, at lunch, on the fifth day, Karen Watson walked past her usual table and sat down right next to me. Even though I was new, I had already figured out who Karen Watson was. She was popular. Pretty soon, all of Karen's friends were sitting there right next to me. I never became great friends with Karen, but after lunch that day, it seemed like all sorts of people were happy to be my friend. You cannot convince me that Karen didn't know what she was doing. I have a great respect for her and I learned a great deal about what it means to be a true leader. Okay, for example, to create this, this narrative paragraph, Sorry, uh, we can follow this format. In the letter A, we have introduced your narrative paragraph with a topic sentence or short, short paragraph, sorry, describing a little bit about the topic to explain your thesis. And in the example we have, last year was the first time I have ever been the new kid at a school. It is a short sentence just to introduce the narrative paragraph that we are writing in that moment. And in the letter B, we have three different sentences or short paragraphs in which you can detail the story that you want to transmit to the reader. Write about how was the story and not your detail. Okay. Here we have different examples. For example, for the first four days, I was completely alone. I don't think I even spoke to a single person. Finally, at lunch of the fifth day, Karen Watson walked past her usual table and sat down right next to me. Here we are adding clear details in which the reader can understand easily the idea that we have about the narrative paragraph. In the letter C, it says, write a concluding sentence to explain the, the final of your thesis, adding how was the past event or what you learned 
And in this case, we have, I have a great respect for her and I learn a great deal about what it means to be a true leader. We are concluding the paragraph saying that uh, that person learned too much about how is a true leader. And here we have another example about narrative paradigm. Someone can help me to read this. It's just the example. Someone. Okay, I will read. Okay, it says, the one day I spent in Morocco, Africa was an experience of a lifetime. Um, in this example, we have the same format to follow to create a narrative paragraph. And in the letter B, we have when I finally reached Morocco and got off the bus, there were four little girls standing solid in the hot sun. After I swallowed my tears, I could not even try to picture this is in America. And it is not something you often see in the use. Meanwhile, the tourist guide instructed me not to give the money as it encouraged the children to beg. However, I was wearing four silver brass. And it is a long paragraph, but uh, Mr. Portillo, I don't know if we have enough time to in the presentation because it says to me remain meeting meeting time. Hi, Jerry Santos. Um, yeah, we ran it out of time just now. So what we can do is that we can just, uh, I'm gonna end the, the, the conference now and you can just join again, okay? Uh, so that you can finish with the class. Okay. Oh, okay. okay, perfect. I, I will end the, right now the conference people and you can join again using the same link, okay? There we go.